Oh, I can hear that drag peeling. Five pounder, easily. Five pounder? Easily. Oh, I'm on two! I'm on two! Bro, we just doubled up! Welcome back, guys. We're about to launch our kayaks and go for trout. This video, at the end of it, we'll show you exactly what works because sometimes we'll fish and we get all caught up. We catch a bunch of stuff and we make a video, but we don't show exactly what we're using, what we caught them on, the technique, how far out we were, the conditions. We don't really go in depth, but in this video, promise we're going to do that. So if we catch some trout today, it'll not only be the first on the Old Town kayak on the big water, but we'll give you all the juicy details. And by we, I mean Master Blaster Fishing and I. If we get them, you guys will see how we did it, what gear we used, and uh, also how they were cooked. Oh yeah, there's definitely gonna be a cook. You're gonna like it. It's a bright, clear day, no clouds whatsoever. Got a little bit of breeze, which is nice, because sometimes that helps with the trout. Uh, so we'll see how this all pans out. We got a game plan going. Super stoked to get in there. Does she still float? It's been a whole year. Really? It's 2022. I may or may not have brought two mail pieces because I have two sets of paddles and uh, yeah, I'm, I have an oar today. I have an oar. Well, even if I don't have both ends of this thing, having half is better than nothing. Little math. <laughs> Before we get started, today is a very, very special episode because we actually have two sponsors of today's video. The first one, of course, is Mystery Tackle Box. If you don't know who Mystery Tackle Box is, they are a subscription service. They'll send you this box full of baits. And in this box, in this Mystery Tackle Box, there is this lure that I'm gonna tie on it's actually a square bill crankbait. It's for bass and it's the Berkeley Digger. And today we'll be throwing uh, other Berkeley baits, but we have a friend who fishes the same exact lake who throws crawfish pattern baits that are made for bass, square bills. And last year he caught a 12 pounder on something very similar in color and profile. So on one of my rods, I'm gonna have that. So thank you, Mystery Tackle Box. Thank you, Shop Carls. If you guys wanna save on an order, there are links below. Hook to Cook is a checkout code. And then also, <laughs> we have another sponsor. His name is Papa Leroy Cook. Oh. And Papa Leroy is a good friend of ours. If you guys are familiar with this channel, he's in a lot of these videos. And he happened to get a bunch of Bass Pro Shops cards. And he ended up picking up a ton of these and we'll take a closer look at the end of today's mission because I, I have a good feeling about these but we got a bunch of these size 5 flicker shads and what's really cool about them is this is the same one just a bigger version of what he caught his almost, almost six, six pounder, pounder on as as in last week's episode so thank you shop carls thank you papa leroy cooks thank you guys for staying through that long intro let's get to fishing all right, first thing I'm gonna send down is gonna be that pink flicker shad that Leroy hooked it up with that he caught his six pounder on last week. Let's see if we can make lightning strike twice. As I mentioned earlier, I have yet to catch a trout on this Old Town Big Water. So hopefully today's the day, guys. I usually like to put it about 50 feet back, 50 to 100 feet back. But again, I haven't really caught anything yet, so uh, <laughs> take everything I'm saying right now with a grain of salt. All right, it's today the day we get our first trout. I also forgot to mention that you can actually switch from trout to bass in terms of the mystery tackle box that you can get. And I had the trout one for the last few months, but since the water is actually warming up pretty quick, uh, I did switch back to the bass box. I mean, I definitely have a lot of lures to throw for trout, 
but it's pretty cool since this bait actually came in the bass box. I think uh, it's meant to be. It's got a really nice shine to it too, so I'm really excited to see if we can't get bit on this square bill. It says that it dives three to five feet, and usually the active trout that are willing to bite are gonna be in that zone. But yeah, that's a nice looking bait. Look at that. All the flake in it. It's got like a pearl coat too, pearl flake, and the hooks are just right. Let's catch something on it. I'm going two, two and a half miles an hour. So if I do get a bite, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna treat it like a ocean salmon, <laughs> as if I have barbless hooks. And what I'm gonna do is once I get a bite, I'm gonna pedal fast. I'm gonna pedal real fast, make sure that hook is lodged in the fish's mouth. Hopefully that would allow me to really set the hook because I'm trolling only at about two, two and a half miles an hour. So I hope that if the fish really smashes it, me speeding up really drives those hooks in because if I stay this slow, I have a feeling that that fish can just grab it and then spit it out when it realizes it's not an actual fish. So that's the plan and hopefully you guys get to see it executed because plans are only good when they're executed. It's only 11 feet here. I know. Are you on a fish? Possibly. Huh? Possibly. What do you mean possibly? Possibly. Oh, Mario. Possibly. Mario's on a fish. It's coming in. Big in? Oh, I can hear that drag peeling. Five pounder, easily. Five pounder? Easily. Oh, I'm on two! I'm on two! Bro, we just doubled up! Oh, yours is big, bro. He's running out of juice. He's running out of juice. Bro, oh shoot! What happened? <laughs> you get him? Yes, sir. Oh shoot! Look at that. Bro. Mine's good too. No, I don't know if it's definitely not a six pounder, but Holy man. he ate it good. Mine's a good one too, but you're. Oh! oh. 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 Got him? Yeah, I got him. Yes, sir. We just doubled up. This is crazy, bro. Uh, All right, I'm going to go over there to check it out. That's what's up, Let's go assess the situation. All right, show her over here. There it is, baby. Getting it done, Bob. Getting it done. <laughs> Plan A. That's it. 515. 515. 515. Five, there it is. On the pink flicker shad? Pink, yep. This isn't a... Uh... This isn't the sad fish though. <laughs> oh, that's a good fish. <laughs> and you got yours on the pink flick of shot too? Yeah. And plan A. Plan A. The reason Mario's saying plan A is because we have a group chat that we have. Bob's included in that. So is Leroy. And Bob was like, oh, the bite's terrible. Our friends went out and skunked. <laughs> but we almost thought of hitting the surf, but the surf looked terrible in terms of the conditions. And we decided, you know what, if the surf's terrible, at least the wind does, the wind report's really nice. So uh, hitting Kachuma Lake uh, was still an option. And plus we haven't brought the kayaks out in a while. So again, this is plan A, uh, no need for plan B. And uh, just with those two fish alone, I'm, I'm stoked. I'm really stoked. That was funny. I was literally 
moving over to Mario so I can get a better look and maybe get some footage of him, which I was able to do. But while I was doing that, I got bit too. So that was pretty crazy. So we'll stay in this area, it seems, and uh, keep on seeing what else we can bring up. But a five pounder, that's pretty dope, Mario. <laughs> that's pretty dope. Were you panicking? With this one? Yeah. Yeah, when it spun, spun me around and crossed my line twice, yeah. <laughs> And we're back guys. That trip was pretty cool because again, it was the very first trout on the Old Town Big Water. That was mainly the highlight, but in the beginning of this video, we did promise we're gonna show you the exact lures that we used that worked. It wasn't really the day that we expected starting out at all. We thought we were gonna get multiple, multiple trout, but actually Mario, his video is gonna be linked below but he actually ended up catching five trout on that day on this lure. This is a size four flick -a shad in the gold and black pattern. So that was really, really good for him. So maybe being bright blue skies with no clouds and clear water with a little bit of chop, maybe that helped with the gold and the fact that he was running quite a bit more shallow because I was running the size five flicker shad and with the size five it dives all the way down to i believe 11 feet deep uh with really long line out so when he was going over the brush in like 12 feet he wasn't getting hung up i believe the size four probably dives to maybe six foot max or so uh, we were both running fluorocarbon um, i was actually running 20 pound braid to a six pound fluorocarbon leader. So it was able to get some really good depth. Uh, we were both running our lines pretty far out, maybe 50 feet or more. So from 50 to 100 feet, uh, we were running both the lures at about two miles an hour. But again, he was able to run quite a bit more shallow. We were both putting Procure scent on both of our lures. This is the exact one I was throwing on that day. This one's actually the pink, uh, the clear pink version, but it did land a pretty good trout. It was a nice about three pound trout, but it definitely paled in comparison to Mario's five pounder. So that was definitely a successful trip. We did meet some guys at the boat ramp, uh, father son combo, uh, son's name's Connor. I believe the father's name's John, uh, but they actually ended up catching like 11 or so on a bait that they, do not want to you know release quite yet uh, it's actually a, an old bait that's been out for a long time uh, but connor if you are watching this video leave it in the comments and i'll pin it uh, if it's okay to share and then we'll leave it in the comments below but connor if you do want to keep it a secret just type secret <laughs> so thanks again for uh, telling us and sharing with us your uh, preferred method of catching them and maybe one day we'll expose it here on the channel. But Kachuma Lake is definitely a fun lake to fish. So if you guys are ever there, uh, definitely reach out if you guys uh, have any questions on how to fish that lake. Uh, or you can just watch these videos. So thanks again for that. And then in the beginning of the video, also we mentioned that we were going to do a little bit of a cook that day. And we actually ended up doing something really simple but special at the same time. Our good friend Papa Leroy is actually working on a seasoning, a blackened seasoning that we have been sampling and he literally made six different versions of it, all different varieties. And we got to do a taste test that day. Veronica was able to pick her favorite. I picked my favorite as well. So we're gonna continue to experiment with that here in the upcoming episodes. So that was pretty good. Definitely uh, enjoyed that trout using Papa Leroy's different seasonings, so definitely stay excited for that. But if you guys have any questions on anything else that we didn't cover, definitely leave them in the comments. Thanks for joining. Definitely appreciate you guys. The support is amazing. With that being said, we'll catch you guys on the next episode.